Hello friends, welcome to Food for Thought. Sorry that we didn't have a Food for Thought last week. I've been busy working on fun plans for being in the garden together now that we are back in the school. I have one announcement for this week. So this is our last week for March Snackness. In this week's voting form, you will only see one question because you will be voting on our final ultimate snack winner. Alrighty, I will announce the winner of March Snackness on Friday, and I will also announce who won the snack basket. So get hyped. Today, we have a great question from Shaylin in second grade. Her question is, in the garden, how come bugs can't get to some plants? Shaylin, you were obviously practicing your observation skills, girl, and great job for that. This is a great question because we are just starting to plan our spring garden and there's certain plants that we use to keep bugs away. There are lots of things that plants do to keep bugs away from them, so let's talk about some of them. One way that plants scare off bugs is by releasing funky smells. Just like we humans stay away from stinky things, bugs stay away from stinky things too. I wonder, can you think of any plants that might be stinky to some bugs? There are some plants that we eat that bugs think are stinky. Garlic and onion plants are two examples. These foods have a really strong smell when humans eat them, and their plants have a really strong smell to bugs. The smell of garlic and onion brings me to these foods because I love them, but they scare away bugs. Other edible plants that can be smelly to bugs are herbs like mint and basil, and these herbs also have strong smells, which again, little buggies don't like. Flowers like marigolds also have a strong smell which keeps bugs away. And the cool thing about all of these plants is that their smells don't just keep the bugs off of themselves, but they also help keep bugs off the plants around them too. So they can kind of help keep bugs out of a whole garden bed sometimes. Another way plants keep bugs off of themselves is by their physical characteristics. For example, some plants have really thick waxy leaves and insects just can't bite through them. Some plants have pointy thorns or spikes to keep bugs off because insects don't want to land on them because they would hurt. Plants can also have toxins inside them, and toxins are chemicals that can kill things. Some plants create toxins the, that kill insects when they eat the plant. The insects over time learn to stay away from these plants because they die if they eat them. This is really cool too because some plants can even signal to other plants when they're in danger and then the other plants then know to start making the toxins in case the insects come to that plant. We don't have any plants in our garden that have spikes, thorns, or toxins, but these are things that plants in the wild use to keep bugs away. One last way that plants can keep bugs away from them is by making friends with the bug's predators. Predators are the insects or animals that eat the insect prey. For example, some plants make pretty, sweet-smelling flowers that attract birds, and when the birds are hanging out near those pretty flowers on the plant, they could swoop in and eat the insects near the plants because birds like to eat insects. Plants like corn plants also do this. The corn plant releases a smell to attract wasps, and then the wasps do their normal thing and eat the bugs that could damage the corn plant. So there are lots of ways that plants defend themselves against bugs, and all of them are so cool. Next time you're out in the garden, you can make observations about which types of bugs are on which types of plants, do some research to determine if those are good or bad for the plants, and then you'll know next time you're out there. Well, that's it for Food for Thought. Thanks again for your question, Shaylin. I hope you all have a great rest of your week and that you get the chance to go outside and do some science observations. Alrighty, bye friends, see you next week.